Welcome viewers, uh, this is Heritage Tutorial again and today we will be taking mapping and functions. So firstly start with function, then we move to mapping. So functions, basically the brief definition of function is equation. So when you see a function, the all you see there is an equation. So it can is mainly represented as fx is, let's say 2x plus 1. This is a function. This is a linear function because the equation with it is a linear equation. There can be a quadratic function too. Something like this. Let's take gx, g of x in brackets. Let's say 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. This is a quadratic function because it's having a quadratic equation attached to it. So on that function, what we'll be doing today is how we can substitute, how we can replace this x to with a number to get a particular value. That's what function is about. So for example, take function fx, f of x to be equal to 3x minus 5. So the question might come as find f into bracket of 2 find f into bracket of 2 so what they, what, what they are just asking you to do is impute 2 where you see x in the equation so this one will be 3 into bracket of 2 minus 5 the function will 3 into bracket of 2 minus 5 everything remains the same you just change wherever you find x as long as there is another x here, or in this one here, x, x squared, you just change the x to 2, to the particular number that they give you here. So from here, 3 multiplied by 2 is 6 minus 5. So 1, you get 1, then f of 2 is equal to 1. So that means when you replace x with 2, you get 1. Another example, let's take a quadratic function, for example, g of x sorry g of x gives us 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 then we have to find g into bracket of 3 so if you ask us to find g into bracket of 3 what we will do is replace 3, replace x with 3 wherever you find x in the quadratic equation. So 3 into bracket of you have 3 then square minus 2 into bracket of 3 plus 1. So from there you get 3 square is 9. So this one tends to 3 into bracket of 9 minus 2 multiplied by 3 is 6 plus 1. So 3 multiplied by 9 is 27. So that's 27 minus minus 6 plus 1 is minus 5. So 27 minus 5, you get 22. So that's for a quadratic function. From there, uh, let's quickly take inverse of a function. Inverse of a function is written as f inverse of x to get an inverse of a function you are given a function fx is equals to let's take the popular one 2x plus 1 this is a function now we have to find the inverse of this function the first step is change this fx equate this function to y so you just see y is equals to 2x plus 1 that's the first thing. Replace fx with y. Note, you are the one that brought this y. So, we'll do something at, at the end to change this y back. So, from there, make x the subject of the formula. The first thing is change fx to y. That means equate the function to y. Then make x the subject of the formula. So, from here, bring 1 to this side. y minus 1 is equals to 2x. So also, divide through by 2, 
So you get y minus 1 divided by 2 is equal to x. Now, in the question, there was nothing like y. We're not that introduced y. So to finalize this, this question now, what we'll do is f inverse. That was all we asked to find. So f inverse of x. This one is no more x alone. It's f inverse of x now. So you change this y back to x. So x minus 1 divided by 2. For clearance, let's just take another example concerning inverse. So g of x is equals to let's say 2x squared plus 5. We are given this function. The first thing equate it to y. So y is equals to 2x squared plus 5. Then the next thing make x the subject of the formula. So y minus 5 is equals to 2x squared. Firstly divide by 2. So y minus 5 divided by 2 is equals to x squared. We need x. So find the square root of both sides to cancel the square here. y minus 5 divided by 2 everything raised to power 1 all over 2 is equals to x. So from there, you can finish it off like we did here by saying g inverse of x is equals to g inverse of x is equals to replace this y with x. So x minus 5 divided by 2 everything raised to power 1 over 2. I hope you know that 1 over 2 when it's when it's at the index is also the same thing as square root. So this is where we'll stop for functions. The next class will take marking. Thank you.